Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update September 20th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 284. As always, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, the Golden Eagle Awards and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, I recently had a look at Ancient Love Poetry's production stills, and the lead couple look great. Ancient Love Poetry is an upcoming costume drama starring Zhou Dongyu and Xu Kai, and here are the two stars in costume. I've also seen some behind the scenes footage of the two stars, you know while they're on set yucking it up after flubbing a line or not being able to keep a serious face while doing an intimate scene. And they both look like they're enjoying working with each other. Hopefully that translates into good on screen chemistry. From these early pictures, it looks like that just might be the case. The drama also has quite the supporting cast. Among them, Leon Lai who was in Legend of Fu Yao, Zhang Yaqing who was in Love in Between, and Leon Zhang who was in My Roommate as a Detective. Ancient Love Poetry is slated for a 2021 release. More updates on it as they provide them. And moving on, one of the more exciting events the Chinese TV industry is looking forward to is the 30th Golden Eagle Awards. On September 15th, the 30th China TV Golden Eagle Awards nomination conference was held in Xiamen and the nominees were announced. So the Golden Eagle Awards are considered one of the most prestigious TV awards in China. There are of course many categories, but I will just focus on the few that I think most people are interested in. Best TV series, best actor and actress, and most popular actor and actress. The winners are voted for by members of the China Television Artists Association and the nationwide audience. So there are 32 dramas on the shortlist for best TV series, and they are a good mix. There are TV modern dramas like I Will Find You a Better Home, All Is Well, and A Little Reunion. And TV costume dramas like The Story of Ming Lan and Ming Dynasty. Then there are web dramas like The Longest Day in Chang'an and If There Is No Tomorrow. And dramas with younger leads like Young Blood and the gaming drama Gank Your Heart. Among the nominees, the two that I'm rooting for are The Longest Day in Chang'an and All Is Well, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of those nation-praising type dramas that win it. Something like Like a Flowing River or The Thunder, which won the Magnolia Award earlier this year. In the Best Actor category, there are six nominees. Chen Baoguo in The Legendary Tavern, Simon Yam in Macau Family, Wang Jingsong in The Thunder, Wang Kai in Like a Flowing River, Jackson Yi in The Longest Day in Chang'an, and Zhao Bo in The Communist Liu Shaoqi. I'm rooting for Wang Kai, but I have a feeling Chen Baoguo will take it. And here are the nominees for Best Actress. Jiang Wenli in The Story of Zheng Yang Gate 2, Sun Li in I Will Find You a Better Home, Tao Hong in A Little Reunion, Tong Yao in Like a Flowing River, Wang Qianhua in Persimmon Red, and Zhao Liying in The Story of Ming Lan. I'm rooting for half the nominees here, Sun Li, Tong Yao, and Zhao Liying. Sun Li and Zhao Liying have both won this award before, whereas this is Tong Yao's first nomination. And here now is the list of most popular actor and actress, which is voted for online by the audience. As of September 17th, this is where the most popular actor list stands. Wang Yipo is way out in the lead with over 1.3 million votes. He is followed by Zhu Yilong, Jackson Yi, Ellen Ren, Lei Zhang, and Zhang Ruoyun. And this is the most popular actress list. Zhao Liying has over 300,000 votes, followed by Seven Tan, Yang Mi, Victoria Song, Sun Li, and Esther Yu. Not sure how many more rounds of voting there is, but the final result will be announced at the end of the awards ceremony. And finally, you can't mention the Golden Eagle Awards without mentioning the Golden Eagle Goddess, which is decided by a professional jury. The winner gets to perform the opening act which precedes the award ceremony. The most recent winner of this title was Dil Raba in 2018, who will take the crown this year. 
The award ceremony will be held on October 18th in Changsha. Not sure if there will be a live stream of it, but it will be available on YouTube shortly after. And it's Sunday today, so time for the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment, edition 37, September 20, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. And we begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Youku, Tencent and iQiyi, social media discussions and Baidu searches. Number 10. Love Yourself, the modern drama stars Victoria Song and Carlina Zhang. Number 9. Maiden Homes, the costume drama stars Sabrina Chen and Zhang Linghe. Number 8. Marry Me, the costume drama stars Xin Chao Ling and Shane Xiao. Number 7. Way Back Into Love, the modern drama stars Dadi Tang and Sun Qian. Number 6. God of Lost Fantasy, the costume drama stars Peter Sheng and Olivia Wang. Number 5. The Promise of Chang'an, the costume drama stars Sarah Zhao and Cheng Yi. Number 4. The Long Night, the modern drama stars Liao Fan and Johnny Bai. Number 3. Love and Redemption, the costume drama stars Crystal Yuan and Cheng Yi. Number 2. Dating in the Kitchen, the modern drama stars Lin Yushen and Zhao Lu Si. And number 1. Reunion, The Sound of the Providence 2, the modern drama stars Zhu Yilong and Rachel Mao. So Reunion, The Sound of the Providence sequel debuts impressively and displaces Love and Redemption, which had a great multi-week run at the top. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. These are based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Go Ahead, the modern drama stars Seven Tan, Song Weilong, and Steven Zhang. Number 9, Hunter, the revolution era drama stars Li Sibuo and Yu Zhen. Number 8, Happiness Will Come Knocking Again, the modern drama stars Nie Yuan and Wu Qingyan. Number 7, Dearest, Where Are You? The modern drama stars Wang Lei and Qing Hai Lu. Number 6, Heroes in Harm's Way, the modern drama stars Cheng Shu and Wang Zifei, among others. Number 5, Miss S, the Republican era drama stars Ma Yili and Vengo Gao. Number 4, Alignment, the modern drama stars Lin Jiangguo and Benny Qian. Number 3, Blue Strike, the modern drama stars Yu Zhen and Mei Ting. Number 2, To Dear Myself, the modern drama stars Cecilia Liu and Zhu Yilong. And number 1, Ordinary Glory, the modern drama stars Mark Chao and Bai Jingting. I've been following Ordinary Glory, and it's an interesting look into China's corporate world. I haven't found any sites that stream it with English subs, which is a shame because Mark Chao has a pretty big international following. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between TV and web. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Xin Zhao Ling. He stars in Marry Me with Shane Xiao. Number 9, Wang Yibo. He stars in My Strange Friend with Zhang Yijie. Number 8, Xiao Zhan. He stars in Heroes in Harm's Way with Eddie Khan. Number 7, Cecilia Liu, she stars in To Dear Myself with Zhu Yilong. Number 6, Bridget Chiao, she stars in Ordinary Glory with Mark Chow. Number 5, Rachel Mao, she stars in Reunion The Sound of the Providence 2 with Zhu Yilong. Number 4, Bai Jingting, he stars in Ordinary Glory with Mark Chow. Number 3, Zhao Lu Si, she stars in Dating in the Kitchen with Lin Yushen. Number 2, Cheng Yi. He stars in Love and Redemption with Crystal Yuan. And number 1, Zhu Yilong. He stars in Reunion, The Sound of the Providence 2 with Rachel Mao. Zhu Yilong continues to dominate the charts as he has two hit dramas airing at the moment. Regulars Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo have not left the charts since first appearing on it when The Untamed premiered. So there it is guys. Hope this gives you an idea of who and what dramas hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And before I let you guys go, just a quick update for Xiao Chan fans. His segment on Heroes in Harm's Way has aired. The story is entitled Happy Community and tells the story of a small community that's not very cooperative with medical workers during the pandemic. Eventually though, they change their ways and hail the medical workers as heroes. The drama also follows family relationships. Xiao Chan's plotline is an example. 
His character is constantly bickering with his mother, but it is clear their bond is tight. The episodes are available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment, but there is talk of English and other language subs becoming available on the 23rd. And that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions in one of my YouTube episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!